taking a look at the parts of the parabola. Um, we have lots of vocabulary that we're going to be going over today, so you want to make sure that you remember these words. So the first thing is that um, we have a graph here, and this is what we call a parabola. So this U-shaped graph is our parabola, and we have some different parts to it. Um, we have this vertical line here that goes down the middle of our parabola, and we call that the line of symmetry. And this cuts our parabola in half, or if we were to take this piece of paper and fold it in half, one half of the parabola would fall on top of the other half. Um, we also have our vertex, which is going to be this point right here that's at the bottom of our parabola. And we're going to see some problems where that point is going to be at the bottom, and then sometimes it's also going to be at the top, depending on which way our parabola is going. And then our other vocabulary words, these are words that we've seen before. We have the x-intercepts, and so this is going to be where the parabola hits the x-axis. And then we have the y-intercept, and this is where the parabola hits the y-axis. So notice for this graph, um, this parabola hits the y-axis only once, but hits the x-axis two times. So you might see, um, sorry about that, you might see the um, parabola hitting one of the axes more than one time. And so that can happen sometimes. So let's take a look now at some problems. So we'll scroll down here. And we're going to be looking at pictures of parabolas, and you're just going to be labeling where these parts are. So problem number one, here's the parabola that we're looking at. And the first thing we we'll want to find is the vertex. So the vertex is going to be the point here at the end of the parabola, and the ordered pair for that would be 1, negative 4. So we'll write that in. So it's 1 and then negative 4. And then we want to decide if this point is a minimum value or a maximum value. So if we take a look at the vertex here, this is at the bottom of our parabola, and so we would call that a minimum. So we'll circle minimum. And then our line of symmetry, remember that was a vertical line that um, went through the vertex. So we can draw that in here. There's our line of symmetry. It's a vertical line. Um, so remember that vertical line equations always start off with x equals, and it goes through our vertex, and the x value of our vertex was 1. So that line of symmetry is going to be x equals 1. The next thing we're looking for is the y-intercept. Notice this parabola hits the y-axis one time here, where y is 0, 3. So we'll write down, oh, I'm sorry, that was 0, negative 3. And then our x-intercept, notice we've got two x-intercepts. So this parabola is hitting our x-axis in two places. So we're going to write down both of those ordered pairs. So our first point over here is negative 1, 0 down. And then our second uh, x-intercept is right here, and that ordered pair would be 3, 0. So I'll write down both ordered pairs. The last thing we want to know is the opening. So these parabolas are either going to open up or they're going to open down. So we say this is opening up because notice we have arrows here and it keeps going up forever and ever. We just won't draw that forever and ever. So we'll say it opens up. All right, and that's it for the first one. So here we don't have to do any calculations, but we do need to know what these words mean so you know what you're looking for on that parabola. So let's try number two. So here we have this parabola. Um, it's in red. First thing we want to look for is our vertex, which is going to be this point right here, which is 0, 0. Okay, 0, 0. And next question is, is that a minimum or maximum? Well, our vertex is at the top of our parabola, um, and then the parabola goes down from there. So we say that this is a maximum because the vertex is at the top of the parabola. And then we need our line of symmetry. So here's our vertex. We're going to draw a vertical line going through that. And that equation will be x equals 0. Remember, we get that. Um, x value from the ordered pair for our vertex, x is 0, so the line of symmetry will be x equals 0. 
Next up, we're looking for um, the y-intercept. Where does this red parabola hit the y-axis? And it hits at one point, and that's at 0, 0, which also happens to be our vertex. So that's OK. So 0, 0. Next is the x-intercept. So where does this graph hit the x-axis? And again, it only hits the x-axis one time at 0, 0. So 0, 0 is actually, for this one, our x-intercept and y-intercept. Last part is the opening. Which way does this open? And this parabola, we say, is opening down. All right, so those are the first two examples. So now you can skip the U tries, um, and you'll do those in class. So now let's turn our page over and take a look at some other examples. So same types of problems, we're looking at these graphs here um, and labeling the different parts. Um, for this graph here, we're kind of, this might be a little bit confusing when you're looking at it. This line right here, this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, so sorry about that. But um, let's find our vertex, so our parabola is this red curve here, and our vertex is going to be at this point right here which is, let's see, that's going to be 0, negative 2. And then this is at the top of our parabola, so that is a maximum. So we'll circle maximum. And our line of symmetry is going to be x equals 0. You look at your vertex, the x value is 0. Next, we need our y-intercept. Where does this red parabola hit the y-axis? And it hits only one time at the vertex, so sometimes it can be the vertex. We've seen that happen before, so at 0, negative 2. And then x-intercept, so where does the red parabola hit the x-axis? And actually, it doesn't hit at all. So our x-intercepts, we can just write down none. There are no x-intercepts, and that happens sometimes. And lastly, the opening is going to be down. This is an upside-down U, so we say it opens down. All right, and I think this is our last one. Here's our next parabola, another red one for us, and we want to find our vertex. So our vertex is at 1, 2, and this vertex is at the bottom of our parabola, so we say this is a minimum. We'll circle that. And then our line of symmetry, x equals, look at your vertex, the x value is 1. Next, we need our y-intercept. Where does this graph hit the y-axis? So um, let's see. It's in between 4 and 5, so we can kind of guess on this one, do a little estimating. Um, our x-coordinate will be 0, and that looks like, oh, should we say about 4.5? So sometimes you might have to do a little estimating. That's OK. And then x-intercepts, where does the red parabola hit the x-axis? And again, this one does not, so we'll say none. And lastly, this opens up. All right, so that's it for our examples. Let's scroll down here. There are some new tries for you to do in class. And then as always, fill in the bottom after watching this video, I can. And then write down any questions that you still have after watching this and make sure you answer or ask those questions in class. All right, see you guys in class. Thanks.